welcome to Piggy Board Gamer. My name is Ekterakos and in this game I'll be explaining every single scoring card from the game Cascadia, also using examples. Now, if you want to learn the rules of the game, you should click to my other video. I've placed a link up there. Let's start. Let's start with grizzly bears. Bears in general need to be in specific group numbers with no other bears around them. With this specific card, the player scores for the number of bear pairs that is in their environment. I currently have only one pair of bears and I score only 4 victory points from that card. The Big Bear card scores a fixed 10 victory points for each group of 3 bears. The groups can be in any shape. I have only one group, I would gain 10 victory points. The C card scores for each group of 1, 2 or 3 bears that can again be of any shape. I have one group of 2 granting me 5 victory points and a group of 3 which grants me 8 victory points. If I also had a group of 1 then I would gain a bonus of 3 victory points for having all 3 group sizes. Finally the D card scores for groups of 2, 3 or 4 bears which again can be of any shape. I have a group of 2 scoring me 5 and a group of 3 scoring me another 8 victory points. <laughs> Moving to elks now, elks need to be placed in specific shapes as indicated on the card. This specific card requires players to place elks in straight lines. Take note that each animal can belong to one shape. I have a line of 3 elks here, so I score 9 victory points from that and I have one alone elk which will score me another 2 victory points, so 11 victory points from that. The elk B card similarly shows specific shapes that score victory points. So I have a single elk that scores me 2 victory points and a line of 3 elks which is not a shape indicated, however I could score the 2 ones as this shape and gain 5 victory points and the third one as being a separate elk, which will score me another two. The C card scores each group of elks, depending on the number of elks included. The bigger the group, the better, and it can be of any shape. I have a group of one elk, two victory points, and a group of three elks, seven victory points. With the D card, elks need to be placed so that they are part of a circular shape. This lonely elk is one-sixth of a full circle, so the player gains two victory points. Similarly, these two elks can be assumed to be two-sixths of a circle, so the player gains five points. The last elk scores another two victory points. <laughs> salmons now work in runs. A run of salmons is a group of salmons in which each salmon is connected to a maximum of two other salmons. If that's not the case, the whole group of salmons is not a run. This specific card scores each run in the environment depending on the number of salmons contained. This run contains 4 salmons so I gain 12 victory points and this contains 3 I gain another 8. So we have 20 victory points in total for this card. The Salmon B card is similar to the A. It just serves better to have more runs with fewer salmons. I would gain 11 points for the run of 4 and 9 points for the run of 3 salmons. The C card is again similar, but needs the run to be of at least 3 salmons. Both of my runs will be awarded, I will gain 10 victory points for that and 12 for this one. With the D card of salmons, you need to have runs of at least 3 salmons. So both of my runs will be awarded. Then you gain 1 victory point per salmon in the run and also 1 victory point per animal adjacent to the run. So this run will score 4 victory points for the salmons and another 6 victory points for the animals surrounding it. So 10 in total. This will score 3 victory points for the salmons and another 4 for the animals surrounding the run. <laughs> Moving to hawks now. Hawks work better when they are not adjacent to each other and when they have lines of sight between them. This simple card just requires that hawks are not adjacent to each other. I have one, two, three, four hawks with no other hawks around them, so I gain 11 victory points from that. With hawks type B cards, you check how many hawks have a line of sight to another hawk. A line of sight is created by two hawks that are not adjacent belong to the same line with no other hawks between them. So this hawk does not have a line of sight to any other hawk, 
this hog has a hog in the line of sight, the same counts for this hog as well, and also for this hog. So we have three hogs that have another hog in the line of sight, and I gain nine victory points. With the hog's C card, the player gains three victory points per line of sight created between their hogs. The player has created one, two lines of sight, and gained six victory points. With the hog's D card, the player gains victory points for the unique animals that exist between the line of sight. In this line of sight, we have only bears, so the player scores four victory points. Between this line of sight, we have foxes and bears, so we have two species, and the player scores seven victory points. <laughs> Finally, we have the foxes. The foxes grant victory points depending on the animals that surround them. With this card, you score for each fox separately, depending on the unique animals that surround them, also counting other foxes. So, this fox is surrounded by salmons, hawks, bears and foxes. So, we'll score four victory points. This fox is surrounded by bears, hawks and foxes. So, three unique animals and the player gains another three victory points. Finally, this fox is surrounded again by four unique animals and grants the player another four victory points. So, 11 points in total. With the fox's B card, you score each fox separately for the number of unique pairs of animals that exist in the adjacent hexes. This time, foxes are excluded. This fox has a pair of bears and also a pair of salmons. So, two pairs and the player scores five victory points. This fox scores only for one pair of bears and grants the player three victory points. Finally, this fox does not have any pair of animals in the adjacent hexes and scores no points. With the fox's C card, again you score each fox token separately. For each fox, you check all the adjacent hexes to find the animal with the most tokens, excluding other foxes. Depending on this number of tokens, you score victory points. This fox has two salmons and two bears in the adjacent hexes, so we score two, gaining two victory points. This fox, however, has four bears in the adjacent hexes and scores four victory points. Finally, for this fox, the maximum number of other species is one, and the player gains only one victory point. Finally, with the fox's D card, the player scores victory points for pairs of foxes. Then you check all hexes adjacent to this pair of foxes, and score for having unique pair of other animals, not for foxes. So, my pair of foxes has a pair of salmons, a pair of bears, and also a pair of hawks. So, I score 9 victory points for this pair of foxes. These were all the scoring cards of Cascadia. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like that, please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, have fun and play more board games. <laughs>